All right, this is a quick video on how to download the downloader app and use it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the search button here. And we're going to start typing in the word downloader. And you'll see here it will appear at the bottom. Click it. This is the app that we want right here. Make sure the logo looks like this. I've seen some fake versions of this app before. So we're going to click that. And we're going to click download. And once it's done, we're not going to open it quite yet. So we're going to click the home button on a remote, take us back home. And we're going to go over into our settings. And once you're in settings, we're going to go down to My Fire TV. And you're going to look for developer options. If you have a brand new Fire Stick, you will not have this. You need to activate the, the option. To do that, we go into About. And then you're going to click on the name of your device seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the seventh time, it will unlock that developer options option. So you see here, go back now, go into developer options. We're going to turn ADB debugging on, and we're also going to make sure uh, install unknown apps. You see here, downloader is off. We're going to turn that on. The older Fire Sticks, it'll just be an on or off option here. Um, so once we have that, we're going to go back. And there's one more option that we want to want to check here in preferences. Data usage monitoring. I normally turn this off. You can leave it on if you want. That's fine. Go back to the first screen now. Now if you look, you'll notice downloader app is not showing. We have it. It's just not in the home tray. To add it to the home tray, we're going to go here. This little icon, it uh, shows all of our apps. So click it. You'll notice uh, download is down here at the bottom. We want to move it up to the top to do that. You click it, hold down the button, and then you can move it up to the top. We'll set it right here. Now we are set uh, to use downloader. Um, click it, open it up. Make sure when you're using the app, um, oh, when this pops up, you click allow, click OK. And you want to make sure that when you use the app, you're on the home tab, not browser. You want to be in the home tab. And you type in your uh, downloader code right here in this line. We'll go ahead and enter one just to show an example. And once you enter your code, you hit go. And it will redirect and start downloading whatever app it might be. Let's give it a second. let it download and once it's done downloading you are going to click install let the app install and once it's done installing we're just going to click done we're not going to open the app yet and when this pops up we're going to we're going to hit delete this will delete our install app not the app itself um, it'll delete this APK file otherwise it's just sitting there using up space so click delete uh, confirm yes delete all right now that file is gone now we click the home button on our remote it'll take us back home and again we're gonna want to move our app here onto the app tray so click on the all apps button and you'll notice that the app that we just installed will be at the bottom click on it hold the button and we're gonna move it up back up to the top here set it right by downloader now if we click the home button you'll see both downloader and whatever third-party app you just installed will be there ready to use